Hey everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to slice text in Photoshop and how to keep your text editable so you can try out different words within the same slices. To do that, we'll take advantage of two powerful Photoshop features known as Smart Objects and Vector Masks. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but you can also follow along with CS6. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe and let's get started. The first step is to add some text. I've gone ahead and added my text, and if we look in the Layers panel, we see how my document is set up. The main image is on the background layer, and the word Slice is on a type layer above it. I've added a stroke around the letters, which is listed as an effect below the type layer. The remaining text, Buy One, Get One Free, and so on, is in a layer group at the top. I've placed it in a group just to keep it out of the way. For this effect, the only text we're interested in is the word slice. To keep things simple, I'll turn the layer group off for now by clicking its visibility icon. And now we see just the word slice in front of the background image. I downloaded the image from Adobe Stock. To keep the text editable, as you slice it, convert your type layer into a smart object. First, make sure that the type layer you need is selected. Then click on the menu icon in the upper right of the Layers panel and choose Convert to Smart Object. A Smart Object icon appears in the lower right of the preview thumbnail, telling us that our text is now safely inside a Smart Object. To draw the slices, we'll use Photoshop's Rectangle tool. Select the Rectangle tool from the toolbar. Then in the Options bar, set the Tool Mode to Path. Click inside the document and drag out a rectangular path around the bottom half of your text. We're going to use this path to create the bottom slice. For best results, try to make the path wider than the text itself, so that if you need to edit the text later and the new text is a bit longer than the original text, the new text will still fit within the slice. If you need to reposition the path as you're drawing it, press and hold the space bar on your keyboard drag the path into place, and then release your spacebar to continue drawing the path. And now that we have our path, we'll reshape it into a diagonal slice. Select the Direct Selection tool from the toolbar. By default, it's hiding behind the Path Selection tool or the Black Arrow tool, so you'll need to click and hold on the Path Selection tool until a flyout menu appears and then choose the Direct Selection tool or the White Arrow tool from the menu. First, click anywhere away from the path to deselect it. Then, click in the top left corner of the path to select just that one anchor point, and drag the point downward to turn the top of the path into a sloped diagonal line. Photoshop will ask if you want to convert your live shape into a regular path. Click Yes. Then click on the anchor point in the top right corner of the path and drag that point upward. You can go back and forth with the two points, clicking and dragging them up or down as needed until the angle looks good. To create the slice, we need to turn the path into a vector mask. In the Layers panel, make sure your Smart Object is selected and then press and hold the Control key on your keyboard or the Command key on a Mac and click the Add Layer Mask icon. A Vector Mask thumbnail appears next to the Smart Object's preview thumbnail, and in the document, we see that the top part of the text has disappeared. Only the bottom part inside the Vector Mask remains visible, creating our first slice. To create the top slice, make a copy of the Smart Object by dragging it down onto the Add New Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. A copy appears above the original. Then go up to the Options bar, click on the Path Operations icon, and choose Subtract Front Shape. Now notice that in my case, all of these options are grayed out. If that happens, click inside the slice to make the path outline active. And then go back to the Path Operations menu, and this time we can choose Subtract Front Shape. This inverts the vector mask, making the top slice visible, and we now have both slices. We don't need to see the path outline anymore, so to hide the path, just click anywhere outside of it. 
Now, it may look like our text is still in one piece, but you can turn the individual slices on and off by clicking their visibility icons in the Layers panel. If I turn off the top smart object, we see only the bottom slice of the text. And if I turn off the bottom smart object, we see only the top slice. To move the slices apart, select the Move tool from the toolbar. Then, back in the Layers panel, Click on the slice you want to move. I'll choose the top slice. And then drag it around inside the document. I'll go back and choose the bottom slice. And now I can drag the bottom slice around. Now that's not quite what I wanted to do. So I'll press Ctrl Z or Command Z on a Mac a couple of times to undo those steps. Another way to move the slices is by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. I'll make sure the bottom slice is active. Now you'll still need to have the Move tool selected, but rather than dragging with the Move tool, I'll press the right arrow key on my keyboard to nudge the bottom slice to the right. And then I'll press the down arrow key a couple of times to move it down. I'll turn my other text back on by clicking the Layer Group's visibility icon. And now we see the layout with my sliced text. So now that we've sliced the text, let's learn how to edit the text inside the slices. Even though we've created the slices using two separate smart objects, each smart object holds the exact same type layer. So if we change the text in one smart object, the same change will appear in both. To edit the text, double click on one of the smart object thumbnails. Either one will work. The text opens in a separate document. Select the Type tool from the toolbar, and then edit your text. I'll double click on the text to highlight the entire word, and then I'll change the word from Slice to Pizza. To accept the change, I'll click the check mark in the Options bar. Notice though that I now have a problem. The new text is a bit longer than the original text, so it doesn't quite fit within the viewable area of the document. Part of the letter A on the right is extending off the canvas. To fix that, all I need to do is go up to the Image menu in the menu bar and choose Reveal All. And Photoshop resizes the canvas to fit the entire text. To accept the change and return to the main document, we need to save and close the Smart Objects document. Go up to the File menu and choose Save and then go back to the File menu and choose Close. And back in the main document, we see our effect updated with the new text. And there we have it. That's how to slice text and how to edit your text inside the slices with Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Visit my website, photoshopessentials.com, for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from PhotoshopEssentials.com.